Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to set any of the video like the MP4, like the AVI or MKV to make it become a video background in your iClone 7 and iClone 8 3D animation software. This is one of the examples. You can see I already put two of the 3D avatar at here. Control G is to show the grids. You can see this is this is just the 3D avatar. And now you can see at the background here, it is a video background. You can see, I try to play. You can see that that is a video background. And then, just check it actually, it is just a video background. It is just a video MP4 like this. So how to make this type of the video, for example the MP4, the MKV or the AVI format to make it become become the background in your iClone 7 and iClone 8 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. Alright, first in iClone 8, I'm going to demo it in iClone 8. Actually the method is exactly the same in iClone 7, both are the same. The first step, just go to the window, workplace, and then just choose all panel and close the timeline, close the curve editor. So now you can see for all of these tabs, it, it would include the project as well. And then you scroll down, you should be able to see the 2D background here. Then from your video, you can just drag and drop into here right drag and drop your video into here then take activate image then try to play you can see it already become a 2d background just by using the video it will become a 2d video it will become the video background then I will just try to add in some of the 3D avatar. First, I press Ctrl G to make sure I can show the grid. I press F so that it back to the origin and here is the origin. Then, from here I choose some of the characters. For example, the actor crowd. So let's say I drag and drop this 3D avatar. And then control G to turn off the grid. Now just have a look. This is exactly the resolutions, for example, the HD. Try to play. Alright. Now I try to add some animations because this is just a demo. I will just add a really simple animations. It is under the motions, human, female, either, move. Now you can see I already add body motions and animations. I try to just render some of some part of this. I will just click render. If I render it as a video MP4, just have a look what is the effect. You can just ignore this part. This part will not be included inside the video. So I click the MP4. I will just render the range. Final render, just the range and export. And as there more, I'm going to export it on my desktop. I will just name this as video. Sample 01. I click save. Then now it is rendering just a few frames. We want to just look at the effect of the video background. Alright, now it already successfully rendered. It is here. So I try to turn it on and see. 
Right, the effect is quite good. So sometimes if you if you just need to render a talking video, you can just use a dynamic video background for your Icon 8 and Icon 7 3D animations. It will save your memories, it will save the time for your rendering. It no need to consume so much of the GPUs and CPUs power. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to set the video as a video background for your Icon 7 and Icon 8 3D animation software by using the MP4, AVI or MKB, any of the supported video formats. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!